Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Welcome back to Powerhouse. Today we're at the home of the Conroys. This is Barney Conroy and his daughter Emma. And you guys live in a 151-year-old house. How many kids do you have in your family? Five. Five children, that's seven of you all together. I imagine hot water is at a premium around here. Yeah, it's sometimes difficult to get a hot shower. But, uh, Talk us through that. Um, how, how do you stagger people being in the shower? Well, there's usually a negotiation as to who takes them at night, who takes them in the morning, and who goes first. Uh, Liam and I can get a shower in pretty quickly, but the girls get in there, and uh, um, you can't get a hot shower after that. So. Okay, well, I think we can make some peace here. Emma, how long does it take you to take a shower? 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Well, do you think you could maybe cut that in half? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ha I have a little tool here that's gonna help you. What do you think that is? Timer? Absolutely, it's a shower timer. Such simple technology, but it's a reminder because you know you lose track of time in the shower. Stick this on the side, flip it over. When the sand gets to the bottom, it's time to what? Get out. <laughs> Get out, right. And I think you can share this with your younger siblings and they'll look at it as a game too. So if you wanna go put that in, that'd be great. I saw that you have a low flow shower head yeah. and you're a step ahead of the game by having that and I should remind our viewers that that's a really easy fix, an easy way to save some money is by getting one of those. You already have that so we can go a step further with this product. It's called a ladybug. Interesting looking and this fits between the head of the shower and the stem and we waste so much time and uh, so much energy waiting for that hot water to heat up. Once it's at the right temperature, then we have to take off our robe, we get ready, we get in the shower, that wastes even more water. What this does is it has a temperature sensor in it. So you turn on your water, once it hits 95 degrees, then it shuts off to a trickle. Then you have all the time in the world to get ready, get in, and then you just pull this down, the lever you know, lets the water go again, and you save that much water. And it maintains that temperature then. Like right, that. exactly. It maintains that temperature. That's a good point. This does not prevent scalding. So we're going to talk about uh, water temperature in a second. I want to go down and see your water heater. But let's go get this installed. Okay. There you go. Great. That looks great, Emma. Okay, you can be the first one to use it. All right, Barney, the first thing we should do is get this old head off. There we go. I think we'll put some fresh tape on here too. Sure. Okay. Now it's a little less awkward if we just put the tape on here. So we'll get ready. That. Ugh, there you go. Okay. And Barney, if you want to put it in there, I'll get the wrench for sure. you so you can tighten it up. And now we'll replace that low flow shower head. That looks great. Let's see if it works, okay? Okay. Can you turn it on how you normally do? Now pull the chain and it's warmed up. Nice. Yeah. I think those things combined are going to save you a lot of money and a lot of energy. Yeah. Now I want to yeah. talk to you a little bit about water temperature sure. with little ones in the house. So let's go down to your water heater. Okay. Okay, Barney, the thing that I wanted to talk to you about down here is 
to evaluate the temperature of the water in your home. And it looks like you have it set relatively low, which is a good thing when you have little kids. You know, some manufacturers will set it at 140 degrees, which is fine, but you can get scalded at 140 degrees. Sure. So by turning it down to 120, that's going to not only prevent those, you know, safety issues from occurring, but it's also going to save money on your bill because you're not heating the water as much. It's going to save energy. For every little bit you dial it down, you're going to save that much more in energy. Now, your particular water heater, uh, it doesn't have letters. I've seen a letter system used before. Also, some actually have the, the temperature printed on there. Um, so check your manual to find out what these things mean. Um, and for those of you at home, if you don't know how high your water gets uh, temperature-wise, just run your sink until it hits the max, fill up a glass, and get a meat thermometer. Stick it in there and you can find out that way. Sure. But like I said, it's safer, you save money, save energy. That's a good thing. I think all these things combined is going to make a big difference in your house. Yeah, I hope so. For more household hints, go to powerhousetv.com.